the stock market and business financing. The stock market is a market that brings together agents who need financing, companies and agents with financing abilities, and investors who can be individual investors, banks or investment companies, for example. The securities that are traded on the stock market are shares. Shares represent a fraction of the company's capital. When an investor believes in the company's ability to earn money, they will buy shares in it in order to receive dividends, the amount of which will depend on the company's earnings. There are two types of markets. The market where securities are offered for the first time, it's called the primary market. These securities are sold at a certain sales price, the issue price. And the market where securities are then traded among investors. This is called the secondary market. So the price of these securities depends on supply and demand. This is the stock market in the strict sense of the term. The stock market is also a regulated market. The companies that issue shares must abide by the requirement to publish information. Indeed, investors must be able to make decisions with complete transparency. In France, l'Autorité des Marchés Financiers, the Financial Markets Authority, is in charge of monitoring its proper functioning. For companies, obtaining financing on the stock market is an alternative to bank loans. It lets them raise more funds and diversify their investment sources by bringing together many investors. For the investors, it's a way of financing companies with the possibility of getting their money back at any time. We say that the securities are liquid. Therefore, the stock market plays an essential role in our economy because companies use it to find part of the capital they need to grow. However, most businesses such as SMEs, small and medium enterprises, and mid-sized companies still don't have access to it because of high administrative and financial costs. Moreover, some people accuse the financial markets of creating crises, since investors' choices can sometimes be far from the company's real results. In certain situations, they are unaware of companies' real performance and try instead to speculate, i.e. to predict what the market itself will predict.